Oh! $800 all-terrain tires. There's $1,500 all-terrain tires. Does more expensive really mean more better? Let's find out. Huge thank you to eBay Motors for sponsoring this season of High Low. The whole season! With their help, we've been able to find all kinds of parts to turn Low Truck into America's favorite off-roader. But they've also been a huge help mm -hmm. with High Truck too. eBay Motors provides all the tools to buy or sell your vehicle safely and securely online. They even can send out licensed third-party inspectors to verify that the vehicle that you are buying isn't just some turd. Mm -hmm. It's what we actually use to make sure we got a Tacoma good enough to be called High Truck, America's favorite offer. You can't just steal my slogan like that. Never heard you say that before. eBay is invested in making the automotive sales cycle honest, trustworthy, and downright secure. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have to worry about thieves and scammers when you're ordering parts. And we ordered a ton of parts off eBay, everything from wheels and tires, suspension. Whether you're spending high or spending low, eBay Motors has something in your budget. So be sure to check out eBay Motors and download the app for all your automotive sale needs. Now, let's get back to America's favorite off-roader, Low High Truck. truck. <laughs> low Truck. High Truck, dude. <laughs> Low truck. High truck. Look at low truck. Look at high truck. This is. Do you even have one of these? I do not, but I do have very nice paint. Your sounds like. Shit. We bought two nearly identical Toyota Tacomas, and we've been modifying them to be fun daily drivers that you can take literally anywhere except for the ocean. One Tacoma gets expensive parts, mine, and one of them gets cheap parts. Then we test them to see which components are worth spending your hard-earned money on. The primary goal of new off-road tires is obviously to increase traction, but there are a bunch of other factors affected by new tires, like handling, vibration, noise, clearance, and of course, Steez. High truck ugh, is getting a set of Nitto Ridge Grappler, that's right, Ridge Grappler all terrains at $342 per tire. And Low Truck is getting these Kenda Clever all terrains, which are less than half the price, at $147 per tire. Frugal. Uh, right off the bat, I think yours look like they're from World War II, and mine look like they're from the Terminator War. Since we're upgrading to beefier tires, we need to upgrade our wheels as well. High Truck is getting these 17-inch KMC Tank beadlock wheels. And Low Truck is getting a set of 17-inch Vision wheels. Each of these KMCs are almost $500 a pop. The Visions are also $500 for the entire set. For the entire set. Mm -hmm. So why do these cost four times as much money? First thing, these are lighter because they're made out of aluminum alloy and these are straight up steel. These wheels have bead locks, which means this outer rim comes off. It's held on with a bunch of bolts and we can sandwich the tire in between these two surfaces, which means we can get through uh, a lot more stuff. Cool. So both of our wheel and tire setups are gonna look really great. They're gonna perform better than stock, but will High Truck's wheel and tire combo perform three times as well because it does cost three times as much? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Now, just like with everything in life, with wheels and tires, it's important to establish some clear goals. Now, we're looking to improve traction, improve our reliability, uh, maybe gain some clearance, and hopefully have a relatively decent on-road experience, like on the highway. I hope these aren't too noisy. You've heard trucks on the highway chopping up from behind you. It's enough to drive a man insane. So we did some research online and it turns out that the Tacoma can basically take a 33 inch tire before you have to start modifying things like the firewall. That also takes into account our three inch lift. You can't do it just on stock suspension, but once you lift, you get a little bit more room. We wanna stuff the biggest tire we can under this truck so we get a bigger contact patch at the bottom of our tire, which will let us climb more stuff. Contact patch is the amount of tire touching the actual ground. Cool thing about off-road tires is that you can air them down so you can actually increase your contact patch the less air that's in the tire. If you blow these things up for highway use, you know, like to 55 PSI, the only thing touching the road is gonna be like a little section like this big, but if you air them down, 
you're gonna get a bigger contact patch. You see all that contact? <laughs> With all that said, let's finally put wheels in tires. They individually wrap the hardware. So we're gonna spend a couple hours unwrapping hardware. One cool thing about having beadlock wheels is that we don't need to go to a tire shop to get these things mounted. We don't need to use a tire machine. All we need is some soapy water, some patience, some friendship, and some smarts. Okay, got that down all the way around. So now we just gotta put our ring in place by hand, manually. It's like. 200 bolts probably. In a star pattern, torquing them to different specs over and over and over. So originally the plan was that we'd have to take these to a shop and uh, just get them mounted like a bunch of chumps. But Eddie and Aaron think that we can do this ourselves in our parking lot. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> those guys. <laughs> Honestly though, I don't like either of those guys. My team thinks we're going to a shop, but really, we're gonna get sweaty out here and do it ourselves. They're gonna be totally pranked. <laughs> so stupid. We're gonna use this torch and some brake cleaner to inflate this tire. We don't advise you guys do this at home. It can actually be very dangerous, but uh, I've done this quite a bit and we think we can get it done in a safe manner. So we would like you guys to see how that's done. You guys know that I would never risk my health for entertainment purposes. First things first, you want to put a valve stem in. I've actually made the mistake in the past where you install the tire, get the valve stem, and then you got to redo it. After you install the valve stem, we're going to get some lubrication, which is just going to be some dish soap, and we're going to push it on, give her a flop. Oh, yeah. We're going to use crowbars <laughs> and pry uh, until we get the inside diameter of the tire over this lip. I just feel like we're going to damage our wheels. Like well, you, you've got it on the inside of the lip, so you won't even oh, see okay. it. There we go. Oh, there's a little bit, but. Yeah, I know. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, these are brand new wheels, and I could already tell if these are if these are wheels I paid for, take it to the shop. But if you're on a budget, and like a considering budget, It's like $100 road, to like get your tires mounted. Well, you sound like a high team boy right now. I, budget does not have an impact on like doing things correctly or how like making sure things aren't nice. So no tire shop? Totally prank. Why are you guys even doing it? Just for the video? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then uh, make sure you, you're ready to- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. This is like one of those like F1 pit stop things. I'm ready, dude. Rock and roll? Let's do it, dude. Okay. <laughs> Brake clean. One, two, three. Leave a little trail of brake clean, hit it with the torch. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Nolan. Uh, oh, no, no, keep going, keep oh, going, keep going, keep going. It's not gonna explode. You're good. You're good. I just, I've never seen a tired wall do that, dude. It's okay. Dude, that was that was dope. It was pretty cool. It was sick. That was pretty sick, and we get to do it four more times. All right, so now that both teams have their wheels and tires mounted up, let's take a good look at them and compare them to each other. You gotta say, your guys' is looking pretty tough. Definitely the more expensive yeah. wheel. These look like different counties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our tread depth looks very similar. Yeah, very similar chunk. The stock wheel and tire weighs 58 pounds. That's Dang. gnarly, oh, dude. You're centered oh, up. Oh my god. Ooh, 85.8. <laughs> 85.8 on the low truck. Oh my God. 95.9. Wow. 100 pounds a corner. Pounds. Holy crap. That is so weird. <laughs> this is is feels so, backwards. This is so weird. Adding a lot of weight to that area will make things handle a little bit worse. It'll make them feel an awful lot slower, but that's kind of okay for trucks. So even though we were both able to get our tires onto the wheels here by ourselves, which is cool, we still both have to go to a shop to have them balanced. Kind of defeats the purpose. But we did see how capable the trucks were with the stock wheel and tire. Unreal, on. yeah. unreal. Yeah. So with these tires, I'm excited to see what they can do I'm now. I'm almost nervous. They're gonna be too good. Are we gonna be too powerful, gentlemen? We might <laughs> be in over our heads. Never stop climbing. And we are back at Gorman for yet another test. We're doing a hill climb. Now this hill behind me, as you can see, is not just a hill. It's full of all kinds of crags and crannies. Cracks and grannies? So to make you lose traction, basically it's very hard to go up. The first try is with the stock tires. Then we're gonna put our new wheels and tires on, go back at it, find out for you guys how much of a difference 
big old knobby all terrains make. And how much better our more expensive ones are. Yeah. Good luck! Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Uh, no way. Give her the feed turn. <laughs> well, they didn't make it. Oh, God. Oh, oh sweet it's, 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 no. it's in the car. It's in the car. Wow, well, we almost made it. We both got our new tires. Let's see if a little bit more traction helps them out. All right, boys. Go get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Aaron. Gun it. Gun it, baby. Gun it. Gun it. Gun it. There you stayed go. Stayed up. Stayed up. See? Job, would you like to drive up this hill with me? I'd love to. Yes. Yes. Try, yes. Let's go. All right, James, you know what to do. Just got to goose a little harder at the end. The approach is good. He's riding the spine. Yep. Yep. All right, now start hitting that gas. Yep. Yep. He's cresting the hill. No problem. No big deal Quick at all. Quick work. Crack yeah, mac and cheese. Easy mac. Throw it in the microwave. Mom's going to be home. She says you got to be on a diet. Put your... What is he talking about? So both trucks made it up, although there was a lot of slippage, uh, and it got kind of gnarly towards the top. Aaron seems to think that if we air down the tire pressure a little bit, we'll have an easier time of it. Zach and I kind of disagree, but I don't know if we get a bigger contact patch, technically we might have more traction, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Last time we ran this, it was at 35, and now we're gonna try it at around 15. Now that's one of the good things about beadlock. These guys can't go as low as we can, uh, and if they do, there's a better chance that they might de-bead a tire, leaving them stranded on a hill or a mountain. You know what happens on a mountain after dark? There you go. Dude, no wheel slippage at all. Dude, Are you just kidding like not me? even a problem. This is amazing. Woo! Did someone order some lobster with a side of butter? Dude, look at that. That's sick. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, dude. All right, baby. No wheel spin. You don't hear the wheel spin. Dude, that, that was dude. way easier air down. Are you oh, yeah. kidding me? Oh, yeah. Well, as it turns out, that felt way better. Yeah, we're we, mature enough to admit when we are wrong, and that was way easier. We felt like we had gobs of grip. It was like driving on tank tracks. For our next challenge, we've decided to take it back to the days of the Neanderthal with a classic game of tug o war. Loser washes the winner's truck. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. This is what I thought we might do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. Yeah, roll that up. Yeah. <laughs> we're both stuck. Yep. I think we're going to have to do this on dry land. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, sh. Oh. Find some grit. Find some grit. Wasted some rubber. Well, I don't know if we learned anything from that. Well, we learned that we've both got pretty equally good tires, and you spent a lot less. That is true. So we're back at the Buff Horseshoe with our new tires. We're gonna come back to this obstacle every week, and our goal is to make it all the way around. We've already attempted this. Let's see who can get further today. Who wants to go first? Me, let's do it. Ah! You communicate! I thought you were- thought This is my good hand! Here's where uh, Pumphrey fell off last time. Right in this area, wheel came off, and well, that was all she wrote. Jesus. <laughs> so, really, we gotta get past this to improve on our last attempt, but I'm not gonna be happy unless we make it all the way around. All right, here comes the initial approach. Looking good, nice and straight. Keep it straight. Oh. You're gonna see how the tires flex, you know? Right. Womp, womp. They legitimately right. grab the surface. Yep, yeah. Moment of truth area. Yeah, here we go. Give it some beans. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, James. All right, this is probably the hardest part. We've got a massive gap here. There are rocks, but they're not somewhere we can hit them, so gas time. Yeah! 
Here goes the GoPro. <laughs> Flawless execution. You know the difference between me and you? I'll make this look good. Hard, 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 okay. hard, 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 hard. Get to the first tricky bit. Hard left, hard left. He's gonna have to have a lot of grip with those tires. I can't turn. Gas, gas, gas. gas. And they fell off. Did we at least make it further than with the stock tires? No. No, okay. They're stuck in the same spot we got stuck before. I don't think it's the tires. I think it's a lack of communication. There's some sort of breakdown. Nolan gets very frustrated. Aaron's not the best communicator. We're gonna give him a second shot at the buff horseshoe because I really think that they can make it. I need you to consistently throttle through this next section. More, 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 more. That looks pretty that good. That looks pretty good. All right, we are past where I was before, so that's a good sign. Hard right. Good. Just a hair, not that much. Break. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> And out with a flare, a little off the side. <laughs> if this were the Olympics, I think that would have been a DQ, but it's not. This is high-low, and we're all pals, and we're proud of Nolan and Aaron. This guy freaking put in work right now. We did it. Good job, bro. So, Nolan, does more expensive mean more better? I'm not exactly sure, James. The uphill articulation test, both tires performed wonderfully, no real difference there. Right. Then, our final test, the Buff Horseshoe, both trucks made it through just fine. No need for the bead locks on low truck. I'm not convinced that you need to spend twice the cash for the tires. Okay, so I agree with you on all of those points, but during the Buff Horseshoe, high truck obviously had more traction. Uh, on the declines, I was able to stop halfway down the tubes, you just kind of slid down. Yeah, there's some sliding. We measured road noise with a decibel meter. We only gained maybe a decibel. Same with low truck. I was actually very surprised. Yeah, usually when upgrading anything on a car or truck, you expect some sort of compromise, but really with these tires on both trucks, there wasn't any. I have to say, I might prefer the look of low truck. The tires on high truck are a little bro-y. Like, I feel like I should get a flat brimmed hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And a monster sticker for my truck. Yeah. So Nolan, mm -hmm. which ones would you buy? I think I would keep the low setup. That package uh, has proven itself to not DB at pretty low pressures. I think 15 is the limit, but for the price, the performance, so worth it, really. I think I would go with low trucks tires. Okay. But I would go with high trucks wheels so that Ooh, I could have that sweet, that. sweet bead lock. So the big takeaway is more expensive does mean more better. Not that much better. And the budget option is still very, very good. You can have a lot of fun in a truck on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We got another one coming up next week. We've been bashing these things into a bunch of rocks. So we're gonna reinforce them with some really sick armor. High truck is getting some pre-cut bumpers and skid plates with instructions. We do have to weld it all together with low truck. Aaron and Nolan are designing and fabricating their own stuff from scratch. Mm. It's gonna be very, very exciting. We're Not looking get. forward to it. Make sure you don't miss it. Hit that subscribe button. Be kind. I love you. See you next time. <laughs>